name is Ria. In this video, I'll share insight on how to create a MaxMind account, generate license key, and set up GeoData in Curidar. Geographic data within Curidar serves the purpose of linking an IP address displayed in the UI with visual flag indicators or map overviews for users. GeoData enhances comprehension by providing geographical context to the source or destination of an IP address. Geographic data is utilized in Curidar in several ways. Flag icons indicating the country or region associated with an IP address, searches, rules, reports, advanced searches using geolookup or geodistance functions. To begin, we'll first create a MaxMind account. So, this is the sign up page. Fill in all the necessary details asked on this page. Make sure you fill in the email address properly in order to receive a 2FA code file we sign in. Accept all the terms and conditions. Click on continue. Once the account is created, our sign in page will look like this. We'll need to enter our email address. We'll need to enter the password. Sign in. Here it will ask us for the code. Once the code is entered, we need to verify it. Now we need to generate the license key. In order to do that, we'll navigate to manage license keys. We'll generate a new license key. Given description, let's say is this. So as this is mentioned over here, this will be only time this key is being displayed to us in full. We need to copy it and keep it to a safe location. Make sure you keep your account ID handy while we configure it in Curidar. This is a license key. We'll copy it to our clipboard and our license key has been successfully created. Before setting up, We'll go to our Curidar command line in order to check what's the status of GeoData right now. We'll go to our command line, run the script. As we can see, it says GeoIP.conf is not configured and it's skipping the update. In order to do a complete so, we'll go to our Curidar UI. We'll sign in. Go to the admin tab. From here, we'll navigate to system settings. We can see geographic settings over here. We'll type in a license key which we copy to our clipboard over here. Go back to our page. We'll copy the account ID. We'll place the same over here in user ID field. We'll save the changes. As it says, the changes have been saved successfully. We need to deploy the changes now. We go, we'll go back to the admin page. Reload it. So now we have the undeployed changes. To view the details, we see we have deployed changes for GeoIP.conf. We need to deploy the changes. Okay, so now there are no undeployed changes. All the changes have been successfully deployed. We'll go back to our CLI. We'll run the same script again. And now we can see it's executing the IP update tool. It says it has been updated. Thank you.